Hi, my name is Jason Mays. I'm the chair of the Beck Lean Committee. And now we're talking about percent plan complete. We've got our weekly work plan that's ready to go. You're at the beginning of the week. You've got all your tasks ready and all your trade partners or your consultants, if it's an architecture firm, whoever is involved in this weekly work plan is committed to getting these items done. These also are tied into your pull schedule for this duration. So you've got your pull schedule posted in the same room as the weekly work plan and you're ready to get going. Percent plan complete PPC is a way to track who is getting what they said they were going to do done. It is not a way to really nail the person who's struggling or cast blame on someone, but really finding out what is really driving this project or this schedule. What problems are really impacting it? Because if a person can't do a lot of things and can't get a lot of things completed, it doesn't necessarily mean that they can't do that task. Maybe there's other factors or variances that are impacting them. We'll get to those in a bit, but this is percent plan complete. So you've got your task and you can meet each day or you can meet at the end of the week to talk about what you got done. But my suggestion is to use this board to track that. So the trade partner or the consultant, the person who scheduled their task, they would come in and when they think they have done their task, they would put one strike through that task. So say for instance the concrete guy comes through and he says, okay, I've got all my tasks done this week. He puts one strike through. That means when you walk up to the board and you see the strikes, that means you know that that person, the concrete guy, thinks that he's got his task done. So let's go ahead and do this for all of them. Now I recommend this being done at a daily 10 minute huddle. This could be, since this is a small job, this could be at the project room where you have all your subcontractor meetings, your owner's meetings, wherever you have these weekly work plans displayed, it could be done there. But if you have a larger project, say it's a 10 building campus that we're building, then what I would do is, if you have a weekly work plan for each building, I would print those off and I would give them to the trades and the foremen and superintendents that are at those buildings and they talk about what they got done in that building that day and they would cross it off. The idea is when you do it daily, you have a quicker time to react and know that you're not meeting the schedule and recover than a week later you find out that there are certain tasks that aren't done. So right now what we have is we've gone through the week and everybody thinks that they've done what they said they were going to do. Now, this does not mean they are done, done. That's a term that's used is there's done and then there's really done or done, done. We're trying to make sure everything is done, done. So in order to get these truly completed, we need the next person in line to sign off on these tasks. So that could be the person who's using these grade beams and confirming that, it could be the general contractor, maybe they're walking around confirming that they've got it done. Maybe it's an owner, maybe it's an architect, whoever it is that's next in line gonna be using this. You want them to sign off on this person's work. That is a key principle in lean is the owner is not necessarily the customer, but the customer is the next person in line after your work. So I am gonna be acting as the general contractor and say I'm checking their work because the next task in line is them, the concrete guys, installing the rebar. So I would go through and say, yes, we did install there, there, and there. So that is done. There's an X there. We know that is completely done. With underground, we can determine that as well. Southeast quad was done. This portion was done, this portion was done, so the whole southeast quad was done, but they only got half of the northeast quad. So 
So they've got four of the five tasks that were done. And then plumbing, the same way, they got the southwest quad, but all the other quads, they did not get done. There was some issue. The electrician was stating that they had expected something else, and that was not done that way. They also did not put their penetrations through the gray beams in these areas, so that was not done. So it's a simple way of tracking the percent plan complete. All you do is divide your task by your completed task, the task with an X on it, by the number of tasks that you have. So this one's easy. Our concrete guys are tracking at 100%. So you just walk down here and write 100%. The next one is one out of five, so that's 20%. or excuse me, they, they missed one activity, so that's 80%. And the next one is one out of four, so that's 25%. So you can look at this board right here and automatically know who is really performing well. Now, let's change it up a bit. Let's say they said they were going to be doing the Southwest Quad on Tuesday, and they got it done. But let's say they actually got it done on Monday. This still counts as a zero, and this would count against their percent plan complete. And the reason why is you're trying to get them to become as predictable as possible. Because many times work performed earlier than planned can mess up the schedule as much as work that is performed late. So keep in mind, if they got it done early, that still counts as a zero. Now, if they realize that they could get it done early and they talk to the parties and they talk to the team and say, hey, this is an area that we didn't plan on getting into and we'd like to get into it because of X, Y, and Z, is that something that everybody's okay with? Then you can rework the schedule and that's okay. But the idea is to make sure they're as predictable as possible. So you've got a PPC there for the team. And you can create the average for the team. And I would display the goal. Always talk about the goal for the entire team of what the PPC is going to be for the project. Many times when you start this and you start tracking your PPC, you will find that 50% of all tasks are completed on time. So it's remarkable if you move up to 60 and 70% how much smoother a job goes. And that's not even close to 100%. You can also talk to the group and say, okay, concrete guy, you're tracking at 100%. What is really making you track at such a high percentage? And he may be able to give some insight, some examples, any kind of advice maybe to the other teams to say, hey, this is what I'm doing. You may want to be doing that as well. Here's some things that we've really learned. Maybe they're prefabbing the gray beams beforehand. They bring them in. They just set them in place. Whatever it is, there's some ideas that might be able to be shared. You also can look at the person who's performing the less, the least amount, and talk to them and focus on that and saying, what, what is really driving these? They might have the most in problematic area with the design. Maybe there's been a ton of design changes. Maybe the owners change a lot of different items in their schedule. It might not be just them. It might be manpower. We don't know what the idea is, what is really driving it. So it's good to talk about what's really driving the people in performing less to make sure and encourage them, get them to perform at a higher standard. When you display this and talk about this all the time, automatically you'll see that these people will get on each other. If, they, if they're sitting in a room and they're at 25%, that can be a humbling thing to realize that. I've also got some charts that you can use and you can display these at meetings. Say you're tracking your percent plan complete of your owner's meetings and maybe architect, engineer, and uh, maybe even city people are there as well. 
when you come away with tasks in those meetings, you can track and make sure that they are doing what they said they were going to do. And it's a simple graph showing who is performing at what level. And it also communicates to the team of, hey, we need to make sure that we can all hit this. You can do this in architecture, you can do this in construction, but it's a great way to track and make sure you figure out what is really driving your schedule. So this is percent plan complete. 